Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, thought I'd bring you along today. Sunday. Sunday emergency heat call. And uh, so I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go run it. It's gonna happen, gonna make it happen. But uh, just got a, a older lady uh, in a rental. And uh, They've been having intermittent issues with the system. I guess they've had other techs out there. So hopefully we will find it. He's willing to pay me the diagnostic fee to come out and look, so I'm willing to come out and check it out. So sounds like there is an intermittent problem. Like they keep resetting it and it'll run for a little while. But intermittent issues on a furnace gas furnaces typically tend to be pressure switches, control boards, or gas valves. So, hopefully, you know, not for the owner's sake, but for us, we can get this figured out today for them so they don't have to keep getting their heating schedule interrupted. That's not any fun. So, thought I'd bring you guys along for my Sunday call. Okay, let's try to nail it. Turn it on and off, you know, some, somewhere like that. Okay. But. Well, let's see what we can find out here. Because, uh. <coughs> sometimes, <coughs> sometimes if you wiggle these wires here. Yeah. Um, just in my experience, if I wiggle these wires. And it moves this Molex connection a little bit. If the system shuts off like it just did, yeah. Then the next step I usually do is look at the back of the board. Oh, I see. And uh, so if I have some fractured solder connections on the back, if there's some fractured solder connections on the back side, then I'll usually condemn the board. And that's usually what happens after the you know it looks like the original board. Yeah, well, yeah, the thing is what, 15 years old. Uh, so, 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 you know, something. And you want to talk about something that intermittently goes out. A control board will definitely do it, and I'll show you why. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I look at the soldering on the thermostat, you know, just uh, physically lo looking at them. Yeah. And uh, I didn't see any corrosion or uh, loose uh, wires, uh, you know, particular wires.
so I have a good day today. I can come okay. out, uh, because uh, it so these are all these are uh, decent solder points here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But the ones here are fractured. You can see they're open. These black holes right there. That means those uh, solder points have fractured, and so the pins that are sticking through the boards aren't making a solid connection with those anymore. So how, how can a solder fracture? So 24 volts hits this board yeah. and over the years that's just enough heat to eventually you crack that okay. you know uh, crack the uh, the connections on that solder point so where some of them are still good the others you can see the open tops All right. so the pin that's sticking through there it's just not making that connection anymore so, it's intermittently making that connection so uh, some days on a good day if it's just the right temperature there'll be just enough expansion in there that it'll make the connection and on bad days it won't so it seems like every sunday it's it's not making that connection for you well uh, yeah it uh, it seemed to be in the past that on the nights when it was extra cold uh, you know, I'm trying to find out, you know, what that makes when sense, it, but she, she, she doesn't change uh, the temperature. The, she lets it sit, sit, but what's the variable? The extra, the extra cold night. Uh, yeah. So uh, the so attic would be colder. Correct. The yeah. furnace is in the attic. Colder night last the control night board's again. in the attic. So how much does a new control board cost? How sure are you that, 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 that is a problem? I am 95% sure that that's the problem. And you don't think it's the igniter rod? Or... Uh, the other, the other uh, components that you have in this system, there's, so I told you uh, on the phone, three, there's like three things that intermittently go out on a furnace yeah. that cause us technicians grief. And that's this gas valve yeah. and this pressure switch right here. Uh -huh. So you see this gray tube that goes to the pressure switch so this is an inducer motor that draws out the gases from the flames that burn that throw into the, the firebox there. And once the flames uh, extinguish in there, then it becomes a gas. This inducer motor draws those gases out this flue pipe and out the top. Okay. This pressure switch has a little diaphragm in there, and they intermittently go out. So sometimes that can be a problem. But sometimes if you tap on it while it's operating, you can get it to fail. Uh, Same thing with this gas valve. As long as there's 24 volts to these two wires right here, which are coming from, guess what? From the control board. That, that Molex plug oh, right there. Plug See that there. yellow wire? Yeah. Leads right to this gas valve. So when you're having intermittent problems, it's either the pressure switch, the gas valve, or the control board. And if I see... You know, just in all the years that I've been doing HVAC, if I see fractured solder points on the back yeah. of the board and I'm having intermittent problems and I can't trace it directly to the gas valve or the pressure switch, I go ahead and control and condemn the board and, uh, and I oh, feel yeah. really good about doing that.
All right, guys, that was a good call. Uh, we were able to change out the control board. I had one on my truck. It was a York Diamond 80 furnace. So they have a 50A55, I think they had a 50A50 something on there. And the 50A55-843 is a universal board that adapts to all those. So, um, yeah, able to get that up and running. Did some testing. Uh, the only thing that kind of caught me off guard was a little bit was the, the purge time on the inducer motor is set for 30 seconds and for some reason I forgot about that and so I'm sitting there thinking like why isn't the you know why isn't the board engaging on the igniter quicker and uh, it feels like it was off but I counted it it's about 30 seconds and it says right there in the directions the uh, purge time is 30 seconds before the igniter will start up so good times Whoa! I almost got creamed by a goose. Holy cow. Easy.